Welcome to lecture number six. In this lecture, we'll take a look at the code structure of our application script, and we will create random mockup data that we can use for testing. This is the code structure. First, the mockup data generator, which later on will be replaced by a new script, which is called data provider. The data provider retrieves the real sensor data from our database. But for now, we use the mockup data. The next part is our actual component, the bar-values component. And the component has two helper functions. One is to create the attributes and the other one is to set the colors, which is in the third part of the code. Before we write the algorithm, we have to think about the ranges for our units. For temperature, I've chosen a range from minus 20 to plus 40, which is a range of 60. Now you can have other thoughts about this range and you can adjust it as you like. The ranges for humidity of the soil and the air are from 0 to 100 and the range for light intensity has 10 steps. This is based on an algorithm in which we take the lux values and rescale them to a range of 10. And this is what it looks like in code. A flawed random calculation within the ranges 60, 100, 100 and 10. In the temperature algorithm, I need to subtract 20 because we can have negative values between minus 20 and 0. And then we store the values in our data object. The names of the keys are the same ones that we are going to use in the component to create our bars. And that's it. Let's go to the next lecture.